New perk. Get after it with local recommendations just for you. Discover nearby events, routes out your door, and hidden gems when you sign up for the local running drop. March was full of triathlon news that had us all talking, from Ironman banning chest fairings to our roundup of the best triathlon smartwatches of 2024. We celebrated Women's History Month by shopping at women-led triathlon businesses and Michelle Vesterby's overall win at Ultraman led to a look at why women are so well suited to the ultra distance. We cheered on our fellow triathlete, and triathlete cover model, America Ferreira, at the Academy Awards, then cheered on pros at the North American season kickoff during PTO 100, which India Lee absolutely dominated. Also, your dog can now have a Strava account. But wait, there's more. Read on for more triathlon headlines you may have missed in March 2024. If you wanted one more chance to hear Mike Riley call you across the finish line at an Iron Man, now's your chance. The voice of Iron Man, who retired at the end of 2022, will return to the mic for the 25th anniversary of Iron Man Lake Placid on July 21, 2024. Riley whose announcing career spanned 33 years and 214 Ironman events, said in an Ironman press release that the Lake Placid community, its residents, and the extraordinary athletes have deeply touched my heart and soul and that it was an honor to once again guide you to the iconic finish line at the Olympic Oval. In March, tech startup Super Sapiens notified customers via email that all memberships are terminated and production of their trademark glucose sensor shipments are suspended. The company is known for specializing in glucose monitoring for athletes, using technology once reserved for monitoring blood glucose levels in diabetics. Super Sapiens, which once had sights on becoming the most influential sports brand of the decade, told customers they were in a period of strategic restructuring, though offered no details on future availability. Sika Henry, the first black woman to become a professional triathlete, continued rewriting the history books by clocking the fastest known time, or FKT, on the 51-mile civil rights march route from Selma, Alabama to the state's capital in Montgomery. In a post-race Instagram photo, Henry said her time of 7 hours and 6 minutes was a bit slower than planned, in part due to hills and heat. She also said she wanted to absorb every landmark, historic route post, and the finish at the Alabama State Capitol. The route includes several churches that served as organizing points for the voting rights movement, the Edmund Pettus Bridge site of the 1965 Bloody Sunday confrontation in which state troopers brutally attacked more than 600 civil rights marchers, and the Alabama state capital. When I got tired, I just reminded myself that my ancestors were walking in their church loafers for miles on end and facing danger and uncertainty along this very route.